flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm. And this morning I thought I would show you guys an update on something you guys have been asking about and I've talked a little bit about, but it's my hydrangea field. I planted this hydrangea field with little tiny hydrangeas from Proven Winners last year. I got these plants from Spring Meadow Nursery. It's the Proven Winners color choice plant in Michigan. So I ordered 180 hydrangeas and 160 of those are limelight hydrangeas and i don't know if you can see behind me right here that's all the hydrangeas in bloom as we get closer you can see the brightness of the limelights um, even better these are my peonies guys some of them one two three four i have seven more rows of peonies over there i have i believe 565 peonies and i did order more uh, to plant this fall to fill in the gaps here so I don't have to do any mowing. We'll see how that works out. So the hydrangeas, this was an inspiration from Sunflower Steve. Actually, it was one of the first pictures that Sunflower Steve sent me two years ago. He sent me a picture of his hydrangea field. It was in full bloom and I said, oh dear. <laughs> I need that. Found out where I could source the plants and then I ordered them and I am in love with this space. It's not um, the size of Steve's entire hydrangea field yet, but I'm really happy with this for these plants being just one year old. So you can see in correlation of my property where the hydrangea field is located. The hoop house is right there and my house house is back there. These limelight hydrangeas, they bloom on new wood. So I did trim these down about a third of the way and probably down to here. So this is the new growth. These are the really, really nice tall looking stems. This one as well. These ones grew on kind of a whole bunch of branchy side shoots. So these stems are not really that long. This is like a little bush of short hydrangea buds. I think they're gorgeous. I'm just letting them bloom there. But the usable, sellable, uh, floral work like the weddings and stuff like that this will come on these giant stems and Steve he's a wholesaler so he sells these by the truckload for weddings and big special events and I think that there's so much that you can do with the hydrangeas especially because these lime lights they turn a beautiful pink color and they dry so well so many different ideas for these hydrangeas. I could sell them bulk dried. A lot of people like to have, there was a girl that I worked with in her office. She just had 10 or 12 hydrangea stems dried, sitting in a beautiful vase on this little side table she had in her office. And it was beautiful and it lasted all winter long. I do try to mow in between the rows. I planted them in landscape fabric. I haven't really, um, fertilize them. When I, when I planted them, I planted them with a nice handful of compost. I did not go through and fertilize these. I definitely will next spring, early spring. I'll give them a nice, um, like a plantone or something around uh, the base of each one of these plants. So I will fertilize them in spring. The black flies are like flying into my eye. Whew. My push mower fits in between these rows. I haven't done that in a couple of weeks and you can tell that it's kind of getting um, tall weeds, but I will push mow that again before the end of the season, obviously. And um, this is only half of them. The other half is over here and they're even a worse weedy mess. There's this nice pathway. So here, <laughs> there's the other half. The weeds are um, tall because they're, um, there's a lot of rocks I got to take out. So I haven't been able to push mow in between that. So yeah, not exactly the cleanest hydrangea patch but this one looks nice <laughs> and then beyond that are my uh, invincible ruby ones those are the beautiful pink ones that i showed you guys in a bouquet making video the other day speaking of uh, bouquet making if you guys are curious about hydrating these and making sure these last in bouquets check out my summer bouquet making session week one in the comments dozens of professionals like florists and designers they are dropping a lot of tips on how to care for the cut hydrangeas because these are new to me so i don't feel comfortable giving you guys professional advice on how to hydrate but boy did the comment section have some jewels nuggets of gold for information on how to hydrate hydrangeas so if you guys are curious about that check out the comment section there's a lot of knowledge was dropped in the comment section i wanted to give you guys just a quick update on the hydrangeas a lot of you guys were asking a couple of other um, perennial updates 
my loose neck goose strife. Wait, nope. Goose neck loose strife. Loose neck. <laughs> <laughs> Those did great this year. I was able to use them in bouquets a couple of weeks ago. Um, also, uh, the echinacea that I planted bare root, they were also doing wonderful, but there are a lot of bug damage. For some reason, the bugs are super attracted to the echinacea this year. A lot of you guys are asking me about the flower forest that I planted two years ago, where I planted all of those columbines. I will say that the foliage came up for the columbines this year, but I didn't really see any blooms down there. So hopefully next year, I'll see some more activity. There's also a chance that the, it, maybe some animals ate them, or maybe it's too shady in there for them to actually bloom. But I don't know, because I feel like I've seen them blooming in shady spots, so we'll see. Definitely didn't see, have the impact impact that I wanted it to have this spring. Oh, and the smoke bushes that I planted, guys, those smoke bushes are in the front. They're looking pretty good. They're a couple feet tall, and hopefully they'll just get bigger and better every year because smoke bush foliage, the blooms on those things, oh, they're heavenly, I love them. Oh, some of you guys have been asking me or complaining to me, I guess would be the proper thing to say, that the deer are eating your hydrangeas. Okay, so I see deer prints on the fabric, like you can actually see a hoof print right there. Um, they don't appear to be eating anything. I haven't noticed any damage. One of them in the front, one of them definitely had a little bit of a nibble, but nothing since then. I am going to do some experiments with what works best for me with hydration, but I'm gonna let the majority of these dry this year and sell them this fall as decorative plants for, for people at the nursery. And that's an update on my hydrangea field. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about it and more updates to come. For now, I'm gonna head to the nursery and do some cleaning. Thanks for sticking around. We'll see you soon. My mom is sending me like wood stain colors and stuff like that for the nursery. She wants to get painting in there, staining. Look into my eyes. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, you're gorgeous. I got popcorn kernel in my mouth. I didn't even eat popcorn yesterday. What? This is like a two day old popcorn kernel. Well, welcome to the party. <laughs> There's a bug in my eye and I'm crying for you, dear. It's the next big thing in fashion. It's a hydrangea skirt. Don't be caught without it. Get your hydrangea skirt today. <laughs> La da 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 For every two there is a fro For every stop there is a go And that's what makes the world go round <laughs> Dear Print